this past winter, when I got the Harbor Freight monthly ad, I saw they had sawmills once again. A few minutes later, I was reading a magazine and saw a coupon for 20% off. Ten minutes later, I found two more coupons for 25% off. I figured it was a sign I was supposed to have a sawmill. All told, it cost 1750 with tax, shipping, liftgate service, etc. It came in two weeks, and uh, it was quite uh, an impressive uh, package. I had to figure out a way to get it up into my backyard and uh, about 100 feet away from the house. Uh, it weighs 331 kilograms, which is about 750 pounds. Uh, I decided that I'd uh, winch it up a ramp, and uh, it was interesting. Uh, I had a 2,500-pound winch uh, on a tractor, which was chained to a tree, and it uh, it moved in jerky little motions. It uh, would get a lot of tension on the cable, and then all of a sudden take off. Uh, to move it around the house, I decided to put it on wheels. I actually thought about putting it on wheels to haul it up, but I was uh, afraid of the possibilities that if it started going downhill, uh, it could be disastrous. Uh, I got some axles at Home Depot and a bunch of $3 wheels at uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, and it uh, it was a pretty good little setup. I turned it by wedging a 2x4 underneath the front of it, and uh, I made it the 100 feet or so that I needed to without any problem. I began to put it together and measured it carefully. Uh, I laid it out on 4x4 four four so that it would have a lot of support, and uh, the M10 bolts that bolt the thing together stick out a long way, so I uh, drilled little relief in the in the 4 by 4 so it would lay absolutely flat. Uh, let me say, it is not an easy uh, thing to put together. Uh, if you're the sort of idiot that thinks electric cars are cool and you're worried about uh, not enough women running corporations, don't, don't bother buying this because you won't be able to put it together. Uh, and even if you do, you'll manage to cut your hand off with it without question. The instructions are amongst the worst I've ever seen. I mean, it's just remarkable how bad the instructions are on putting this thing together. So uh, if you don't have the wherewithal to figure it out, uh, you're going to have a problem with this for sure. Uh, another thing uh, I want to mention before I forget it is the engine did not have oil in it when it came. Usually they're shipped with uh, break-in oil. This one didn't have it. Uh, after I got it... Uh, pretty well assembled, I noticed that the uh, log locking device, uh, the hardware for that was incomplete. So I had to make a piece uh, to go on one side out of a bolt and uh, a spacer seems to work okay. That wasn't as troubling as the fact that I had six M10 bolts left over uh, when I was done. Uh, I had no idea where they're supposed to go. There was nowhere put them in. Uh, it's a pretty crude machine. Uh, it takes a long time to do all the operations. I'm trying to get the water set there and then uh, raising and lowering it is also kind of a clumsy slow operation. Uh, it cuts fairly well. I'm making some uh, shingles for a shed out of poplar here and I'm cutting about uh, about three-eighths, one-half inch thick here, and it's holding that dimension pretty good. The, uh, the, the whole rig is a little rickety, and I'll probably reinforce uh, with a loop at the back uh, going to the top to keep it from oscillating so much, but it doesn't seem to uh, have any effect on the, uh, uh, the, the, the thickness of the cut unless you push too hard. If you push real fast, it'll start to get a little wavy. Uh, the first day I had it, I did uh, three birch logs and an oak log, and uh, they came out beautiful. You can see the, uh, the shingle is uh, pretty nice. Uh, most of the time 
involved in this is involved in adjusting it after each cut. Uh, there, there could be a lot of things that are a little better, um, and uh, invariably you'll get somebody writing in that says, boy, you should have bought the $20,000 when it does all that stuff with hydraulics. Well, uh, of course it does. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's $17,000 more than this machine. Uh, I think it works pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, the Chinese children have uh, come through for me uh, yet again. I, I uh, would not classify it as a professional machine by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, certainly for someone who wants to work part-time at it, it's uh, more than adequate for that, even without any modifications. Uh, you can see in the picture behind uh, what I'm doing uh, the birch boards that I cut the first day I was operating it. And uh, I also, uh, as I said, I cut an oak log the first day and the second day uh, I cut an ash log and a maple log. Um, it, uh, it's not a bad machine. It's not lightly built. And I don't think that there's any chance that I could have put this stuff together for anywhere near the cost of buying it from Harbor Freight. It, it just is astonishing. So congratulations to the Chinese children. Uh, you've come through for me once again. <laughs>